Hello and good evening to DeFiJ News on the 14th February 2024, the news show that provides you with the latest updates on DeFiJ project. If you like the show, then let's go crazy on the like button. It wakes up the algorithm and helps the project. Subscribe and click the bell button. And stay until the end because we will discuss the next shows and dates. Afterwards, we also have some time to answer your questions, so please put them here in the chat. But before we start now with the headlines, I would like to welcome my co-moderator and expert of DeFi Chain, Lord Mark. Welcome to Valentine's Day. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day, everybody out there. I <laughs> hope you have some exciting evening with your loved ones planned. And I nice dinner, a bunch of roses and a bottle of champagne. Even I think a lot of people don't feel like celebrating today, but yeah. Um, Tough times for the Virginia at the moment, huh? Yeah, sadly, yes. But that's just the price side. On the other side, uh, we have the development and the progress. So I would say, let's jump on the headlines and have a look what's happening. Absolutely. Here do you see here are the headlines. Headlines, uh, title of the show, the DUSD bond initiative. Uh, we will talk about what's behind and a little bit more about DUSD. Um, next topic is uh, Oracle and pool reward update. So what's happening on the D token side? Um, here the uh, latest uh, updates, MetaChain update uh, as a regular point, notable mentions, community projects and the updates. And last but not least, the future dates. So what's happening here on the channel? With this, I would say we jump into our DUSD bond initiative or bond chain. <laughs> the bond chain has nothing to do with James Bond. Um, sounds so. <laughs> sounds so, but sounds like a good story. So, um, like we want to mention, so Mr. Patrick Swayze with three E's at the end had this idea. I asked him how did he come up with this idea. He said he just jumped. Uh, uh, he just came to his uh, brain his uh, and and he said yeah, let's do it uh, sorry for stuttering around but i uh, missing the words here so the idea was he said if a lot of people would lock up 2000 usd then we could tie up 2 million usd in bonds additionally and how can we do this or how can the community do this and the idea was born he said so the first person locks up 2000 usd and because we can forward the bonds in form of an NFT to somebody else, you just send this NFT to somebody else. So you agree on, let's say I do the bond for 2000 and I say, DC, I'm going to send you my NFT. So actually you get my bond. And what's your job then? You actually create a new bond with $1 less and you send it to somebody else, for example, to Kugi or to somebody out there. And in this way, we create this chain. Uh, there's certain trust involved. You have to figure out who is the recipient of your NFT. And uh, in this way, we can tie up and we can bond a couple of million USD. Uh, nobody gets hurt in that approach. Everybody is uh, responsible for their own money. And if you want to tie up 2000 USD in a bond, that's fine. You get the API on that. You can use Jeff's fee as an interface or you do it on another way. And that's the whole story behind it. It's a community approach. It's just also to promoting DSD bonds. I think it's a good idea that people who haven't heard about that really start learning about that and also transferring an NFT. I think it's a kind of a uh, yeah, very easy way to get uh, known with all these uh, new uh, mechanics on uh, the DSD side. Yeah, great initiative. There are a couple of 13 members so far locked up their DUSD. It started a couple of days ago. Would be cool if we speed up. I mean, so far, I think we had one or two every day. So let's see mm. um, how quickly we can actually find 2,000 people who want to lock up the DUSD. Very important. Nobody loses anything. It's, an, it's a zero-sum game. You lose one DUSD because you create a slightly <laughs> smaller bond than you receive. But that's fine. I think uh, you one, get... One exception. Mr. Yeah, Swayze, the first um, one the first donated one. 2,000. Thanks, this is... That's all right. Because I thought, okay, who is losing? Nobody's losing. Swayze created this uh, chain, and he's actually the one who donated 2,000 USD. So, yeah, yeah, thanks for the great idea. I like the idea. 
Uh, yeah, if you want to join, get in touch with him. There's a spreadsheet. We have a link where you find the information. It's just uh, a nice way to yeah, um, work together to work mm -hmm. on the DSD story. So, so much about that. But then we said there are several other initiatives. Um, uh, Silverback uh, with his Facebook group and Paul from eBox, they created a smart contract. And this is for the nosy people out there, especially um, if you want to know how many people actually checked out that link, because every time you want to check out how many people checked on this link, you have to pay one USD. <laughs> so it's kind of an endless loop. Uh, you check out how many uh, DSD have been burned because this DSD that you have to pay to check out are getting burned and yeah, check it out and see, I don't know what's the actual amount today. I didn't check but it works. Very simple application of a smart contract, mm -hmm. but a fun, lighthearted approach to... Yeah, it's a, it's a kind of gamification, you know? Yeah. Just, uh, you're curious, ah, uh, one DUC and uh, you burn it. Uh, I said in the German, yeah, it's a very simple example um, what you can do on MetaChain, yeah? Put a smart contract, an interface on a website to interact. Um, that's pretty easy for someone who is familiar with smart contract programming. Um, and yeah, we should focus there more on this building aspect. Exactly. Yeah. Int interesting story. Yeah? A very, very creative approach on the whole thing. Then we've also learned something before what we've heard in the German version, because we mentioned uh, Silverback. Um, in their Facebook group, they also created this uh, DSD bond chain, not only for the 2000, uh, uh, for the two year bond but also for the one-year bond. That's a rumor that we just learned. Uh, I, <laughs> it's not confirmed, but yeah, check it out. Maybe there's a parallel chain starting now with smaller amounts. Anyway, great idea. If it hasn't been done, then definitely worth thinking about doing it. Good. What else? There was a special DFIP. The special DFIP said um, we want to diversify the community fund. Uh, there was a bot written by the community that actually now converts uh, DFI into DUSD. So the community fund is now split in two parts, DFI and DUSD. And uh, happy swapping is going on 1000 DUSD, uh, DFI into DUSD, and this is gonna get ramped up 5000 DFI into DUSD every 20 blocks. So that means about roughly every 10 minutes, a block is roughly 30 seconds, like we learned. Link to that information is also in the show notes. Yeah, that's all the, the initiatives have... will be, will be, will be in the show notes. Will... DC is always doing this after I, the show. Uh, uh, not always, but today I have had some time uh, before the show, so I have to do it uh, afterwards. Yeah, uh, the bot started on Saturday, yeah, uh, directly after the uh, special defeat was, uh, or voting was closed. And uh, it's now running for a couple of days uh, until this ratio is reached for the diversification. So far, uh, regarding the USD bonds, uh, someone uh, building on MetaChain and uh, other updates, then we are coming to MetaChain and updates. Um, what's happening on this side? Yeah, little disclaimer on the DMC side. Uh, every project that we mention here, this is no seal of approval. Guys, do your own research, but that's the same story on DeFi chain anyway, right? Because people say we are shilling the coin here. No, we are not. We are all involved in certain projects. We are all involved in DeFi chain. We are investors. We are not getting paid. So uh, yeah, do your own research. You are responsible for your own investments. And we want to mention that because there are a lot of exciting DMC projects upcoming. And we want to speak about this project. That's very important. But at the end, decide yourself if you think that's worth investing there or not. Fine with whatever decision you make. Uh, we had rug pulls also already. Um, they were not super dramatic, but yeah, just be careful. I think the whole ecosystem now with uh, MetaChain um, and the MetaMask have to be a little bit careful. It's not as bulletproof as it was before. We are getting into new territory, so just be careful as a little warning. Okay, first project, just fear. We thought there's a lot of uh, bad shit happening at the moment, a lot of uh, useless hate comments out there. Uh, People find it super exciting if the price is dropping and uh, I don't know, maybe they lost money, maybe they were so smart or smarter than others, whatever. Um, but we said, 
there's a lot of good stuff happening um, that is maybe not reflected in a price. Also, we always tend to look at all the green coins and not so much at the red coins. Check it out. We made a video yesterday. Uh, you were there, DC. Johan was mm -hmm. there. I think some really, really good reasons why uh, it's not doomsday, why DeFi chain is not dying today. Mm. Check it out. Uh, maybe it helps you to uh, get uh, in, in uh, yeah, to, to work on your okay. mindset. Huh? Or how, <laughs> how would you describe that? Yeah, correct. Uh, it's worth uh, to watch. There's a small but significant but. Uh, it's in German, uh, so not everyone oh, maybe understand what that, we are yeah. talking. Yeah. Um, but if you understand German, watch it. Uh, it was a great video, uh, not prepared in advance, so we just talked what came Freestyle. in our minds, Absolutely. and it was really good. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe somebody can. If sorry, if you don't speak English, I didn't uh, even think about it because we normally do everything in English. But yeah, we wanted to do that uh, out of the blue yesterday in German. Another thing, uh, TradeX, uh, new product on uh, Jeff Sphere is going to launch soon. I think we spoke about that before. And uh, it's going to be on DefiChain Testnet uh, latest next week, maybe this week. We have to see. Then you can actually buy and sell D tokens on, uh, yeah, on Jeff Sphere. And you still use the uh, DEX on uh, the native layer. So that's going to be interesting. Then OctoDefi. Is also uh, also came out with a video yesterday. Last bag is also in German, unfortunately, but uh, we want to mention it because some people speak here several languages. Lars uh, also picked up on the status of DeFi chain. Uh, what the fuck's going on here? And uh, yeah, very good thoughts about DeFi chain and uh, DeFi meta chain. Check it out. Lars is also involved in Octo DeFi. I think a fantastic project. Yeah, let's uh, yeah listen to what he has to say as well. And Vanilla Swap and DMC kind of an incorporation. Um, Vanilla Swap has uh, a lot of uh, pool pairs where you get where you can earn real yield. And all this APR was actually always kind of tricky to figure out. And they made in a corporation. They listed now all the pool pairs on Vin uh, of Vanilla Swap pool uh, version two on a DMC Universe. And now you can check out how are the APRs in the different pools. Very good project because that's a simplification again. And I think it's all about, I love simplification. It's very tricky sometimes to find all this information. And yeah, DMC Universe is really helping in making these things easier. Link to the tweet on X is in the show notes, of course. Will be. Will be. <laughs> will be. Sorry, sorry. Will be. Next one, Crypto Factor. So, Everything what we spoke about was like uh, happened already. Now crypto, crypto Factor is a ongoing or is a, is a project in the making. Uh, they have a pre-sale for the token. Uh, part one and two was completed. Round three uh, is scheduled for 15th of February. What is actually here already, but in Germany tomorrow. And uh, yeah, check it out. Tokens are pretty cheap. 0 0.004688 DFI and 8 million uh, Crypto Factor tokens are gonna be sold for people who are interested uh, as it seems you can purchase it in dfi there's a maximum cap of 750 dfi per address information is gonna be in the show notes as well <laughs> yeah check it out no financial advice if you're interested in there's a lot of information on their account uh, yeah and then make your decision Great, thanks for the update. Then we are jumping to our next um, topic for today, which is not a regular point, uh, but a lot of things are happening on the DToken uh, pool and reward side. So please summarize what's happening here. Yeah, so <laughs> maybe let's start with the rewards because that's kind of the easier part. There was a DFIP about how do we make the decks more usable for traders because it's an exchange. An exchange should be used to exchange one asset into another. Not so much in just pure liquidity mining. Liquidity mining was actually is actually a tool to attract liquidity that then traders can trade. So the idea of a DEX is really not in, in yield farming. Even a lot of people do it, and there's nothing wrong with it to make gain rewards uh, through yield farming. But end of the day, a DEX should be an active tool. 
And the DEX trading team said, okay, we really believe in the DEX and the detoken system and we want to make it usable. So how do we make it usable? We have to bring focus to the token pairs that are really great to trade, where there's high volatility, where uh, nice gains can be made. So they came up with the, D, uh, the uh, uh, DFIP and said, so it's, the, it's an approval proposal and said, okay, let's add rewards to certain new pool pairs and the pool pairs that are actually kind of not so useful in their opinion gonna reduce the rewards and this has been done quite a while ago uh, unfortunately the reward distribution took a little bit longer there was a lot of stuff happening with uh, dm finishing dmc and stuff and now the core development team or the diva chain labs team is on it to get the rewards right and the second thing that dc already mentioned there were stock splits we had a couple of stock splits in the past so splits are always a little bit I don't want to say a problem, but a little bit a burden because the problem is the stock changes in value, right? You have a stock split that the uh, stock is uh, split into three. Then you have, uh, yeah, the price drops by 66%. So it's only a third of the value. And this has to be reflected in the tokens, of course. And the oracles have to be adjusted. And we see this now with Walmart. There's a stock split incoming. They have a three for one stock split. And there was a stock split before with UNG and something didn't go so right. There was no harm done, but uh, the oracles uh, didn't uh, work like expected. And this has to be set straight. And hopefully that's a part uh, this part is going to be sorted out pretty soon. Um, and then, yeah, everything is smooth sailing. Maybe important if you're in a pool where there's a stock split, so there's no risks. It's not that you have to, that you lose anything. Normally the trading of the, of all the, or let's say like this, the, if you have a vault where the token is in your vault, the vault is halted, that there cannot be mm -hmm. uh, any liquidation because the value change, right? And um, there's a certain procedure. So if your vault is frozen, then check out if there's an ongoing stock split, maybe. Normally this is dissolved within a couple of hours and then everything is smooth sailing again. So Walmart and UNG is still an ongoing project. Yeah. Cool. A lot of maybe, things are also happening here. Yeah, yeah, maybe one more thing, the rewards. There's a spreadsheet where you can actually see how the reward distribution is done. I think it's important. If you're in a pool pair, you think, uh, are yeah. the rewards going to go up or down? Check that out. DC is for sure Def linking it in the show notes. Later on, and uh, the final version will be created tomorrow. So they will make a kind of snapshot uh, mid of the day, a day before the new rewards are coming, and then they are checking about uh, the liquidity. So um, I think it's still time uh, to keep some pools alive if uh, yep. liquidity is added. Yeah, cool. Looking forward, what's happening and how it will look like um, after the redistribution and the new pools um, will get rewards. So they will ramp up uh, in liquidity. Next week, we know more. Then let us have a look. Notable mentions uh, here, a few updates, but also great updates. Absolutely. So maybe the biggest one was that Cake enabled withdrawals of DFI and DSD to DMC. That's a really uh, cool uh, news in that way that before, if you wanted to put your DFI on the DMC or your DSD on the DMC. DSC was more important if you want to participate in the bonds or DSD is taking. You had to go from Cake to the Light Wallet, from the Light Wallet to the Metamask Wallet or to any uh, EVM compatible wallet and then into the project. Now you can go directly from Cake to the DMC and that makes it so much easier and this was implemented by the bake team or by the cake team uh, just today. They did uh, some final testing and a couple of hours ago, this uh, official announcement actually went out. Uh, I think that's, yeah, that's very helpful because it's all about simplification, especially if you want to participate in DMC, then you don't want to go back to native layer and that's a little bit tricky. So that's a great uh, update. And um, then what else do we have here? Yeah, there's a quest ongoing uh, where you can earn an NFT um, on the page called Galaxy. Uh, that stands for Galaxy, actually. And yeah, mm -hmm. it's in cooperation with Jeff Sphere. 
So check that out, how this works. These are normally um, campaigns where you have to do something on social media, like an account or share something or do a blog post or whatever. And normally there are small prizes to be won. In that uh, case, it's for thousand DFIs and then you can get a NFT. They don't call it NFT, they call it OAT. Uh, I forgot honestly what OAT stands for, DC. Can you remember? Can I cannot remember. Okay. Is 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 uh, I think their way how they call it NFTs. It's uh, yeah like a badge that you can collect or something like this. Yo, that's it for the notable mentions today. Did I forget something or was that everything DC should be everything then okay. uh, we are jumping to our um, oldies but goldies community projects and updates um, and yeah someone who is always there let's start with the Dex Trading Masters yeah Dex Trading Masters is a really interesting project because I mentioned before uh, the gang who decided make make the Dex more usable they formed and they have this Dex Trading Masters competition ongoing. It's the fifth edition at the moment, and they call it the Repack Edition. Last one was uh, Human Against Machines. They are very creative in marketing their uh, competition. So what's the competition all about? You enter uh, with a couple of DUSD, and then it's all about who can gain the most over a certain period of time. I think they have planned five or six uh, competitions over the year. And it's a lot of people who've been in the competition before. There's always one guy, especially Man of the Woods, Hansan from Prague, who is normally leading the field. It's really crazy how he does this. And he did a six times... So a sixfold of his uh, initial investment followed by Voyager who is doing or did a 4x already. It's really impressive to see how the DEX can be used to yeah to trade D tokens. Um, it's a, I think it's a different way of trading because it's not only um, you trade the market, it's also about doing research. Uh, stock exchange is closed, uh, the DEX trades 24 mm -hmm. hours. It also has tax, positive tax implications or not so many negative implications if you trade there. Check it out. It's really a cool tool and those guys really understand how to do this yeah. and they constantly uh, have high gains on their uh, trades over there, yeah. DC. Yeah, correct. They also made some webinars, I think, where you can watch uh, how to trade on the DEX because it is different. Yeah, and you can also use the difference between Oracle price and DEX price, future swap. So it's slightly different, um, but uh, it looks like the opportunities are also more than on traditional market. You know, and because I asked you before, oh. what is OAT <laughs> on chain achievement? Talk? No doubt, USD. Thank you very much. We don't know everything here. That's cool. Thanks for helping out here. Yo, great team. Um, maybe also to mention, if you guys think it's only the old guys who've done it 100 times already, no, there are also three newbies in the competition and they're in the top 10. So, of course, practice makes you better, but uh, it looks like that you don't have to be a guy who's done it 100 times. Mm -hmm. Just come in and try it out. Uh, what, what's the risk? Yeah, it's really cool. They really support... <laughs> Somebody just said Tonson is now at 8x. Okay, good. Yeah, he's killing it. That was crazy. a uh, is absolutely crazy. And imagine, I mean, of course, they play it safe with small amounts, but yeah, uh, it also works with larger amounts, of course. But yeah, be careful. Trading is always certain risk involved. Yo, that's about the competition. Easy. And then the team yeah, behind the competition. Uh, mm. Yeah, they yeah, need sorry, some support. Sorry. Yeah. Mention, man, you, you saw that. Uh, what are they doing? What are they planning? They are asking for marketing support. Correct. Then, um, Defighters World Map. Defighters World Map, right. So, what's the Defighters World Map? If you want to <laughs> participate and you want to show in what region you are, it's not about that somebody stands in front of your door tomorrow. It's just maybe to show where in the world you are. Uh, you don't have to be precise with your address. It's a quite an old project. The URL was not working. So now you can show. It's nice to see a lot of DeFi chain investors are like in Northern America, Middle Europe, also Asia. There's not mm -hmm. much happening in Africa at the moment. 
India is also quite a white spot so far, what I've seen. So, but, uh, yeah. I think we should promote it and see uh, what's happening uh, after this uh, sex listing. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, because we have this sex listing in India now. Absolutely. DC, yeah. then future dates, last point. Here. Yeah, tell us what is happening here. Yeah, yeah. We are waiting. I can, I can only talk about the uh, news show next week because that's <laughs> where I'm involved. You have to talk about the tech talk that is planned. Okay, then a tech talk is planned tomorrow, um, lunchtime, German time soon or Europe time soon. Um, I will host it. Uh, Prasanna will join and will give us an update on all the tech behind um, DeFi Chain. Yeah, he will go through different topics. It's not one specific. It's more in general. Absolutely. Join. Yo. Okay, that's all. Um, a long uh, news show. Yeah, a lot of things are happening. Uh, I think we still can take some minutes if you have a question and a look on it, uh, answer them or try to answer them. We don't know everything. And um, if you're watching live, uh, all others, thanks for watching it and see you next week here on the channel with the news show. Um, have a great time. See you soon. Bye bye. Thank you much. Bye bye. So, there we are again. A lot of question marks. Good. Let's have a look. So, we are not showing all the greetings. Thanks, everybody who <laughs> left us a note here. We really appreciate it. Um, what are we looking for? We want some questions here. Jackie Delchin said, still road to 50, guys. Uh, what do I know? Uh, Crystal Ball 2000 or 2024. Um, if it's going to be 50 or if it's going to be another number, we will see. It depends what people buy, what people sell. Um, mm. This was the initiative of the community some time ago, road to 50 in better times. Uh, I personally believe we're going to see higher prices. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we're going to see lower prices. But um, I think it's not so much about the number. It's about the value that we create here. Uh, what else do we have here? Community fund DC. That's maybe an interesting one from Dr. Degen. Oh, that's a little bit large. Can you read mm. it? Um, <laughs> yes. How long is the community fund going to buy? Um, okay, uh, how long is by 30% uh, is the ratio of the diversification. Um, and it depends on yeah, how the price also develops. Um, I think still a couple of hours, uh, or days, not hours, sorry, uh, are left. Um, so we started on Saturday, and uh, will run the next days uh, and weeks depends a little bit. Yeah, good. Somebody mentioned that there are not so many viewers in the English channel like in the German channel. This is correct. Mm -hmm. We have a strong fan base in the German speaking community. So if you want to share the content to more people out there, we already said we need a stronger international community. The German community, I mean, we have a lot of followers. Or we have a lot of investors also in Asia. The story mm. is just that the German community is really loud <laughs> and they're very active. So that's why yeah. we have on the German channel still a lot more people and at the moment. Also, information, uh, a lot of people are wa not watching live. They are watching later because also of time zones here. Yeah. For Germany, it's pretty easy. At six o'clock in the evening, a yeah, lot of people for, have time. For Asia, it's middle of the night. So who is watching the yeah. English one now, right? Only I'm yeah, sitting and there. US side, it's <laughs> also very early. Yeah, yeah so that's, uh, that's for sure a good point. Then mm -hmm. here, can you ask Bosana about the hackathon? Any interesting results, DC? That's uh, to do for you. I try, <laughs> I try to remember uh, maybe uh, one idea. Ask you in the chat tomorrow. Uh, I will also follow, and then you can directly ask Bosana. So everyone joining tomorrow the tech talk can uh, ask questions, and um, yeah, maybe yeah. we get some insights. Yes, yeah, Swiss Chapeau says some news about crypt uh, about using. Sorry, not nothing. from not from my side. Uh, don't know. Reach out to him. He's on Twitter. Uh, get in touch with him directly. I'm sure. Uh, yeah, if he mm -hmm. wants to talk, then 
please address him directly. Then, yeah, atomic swap maybe. Uh, that's something that pops up once in a while in the community as well. When will atomic swap be available? Honestly, I don't know. Do you see any updates when this is planned? Uh, I have no concrete day, uh, but maybe it's also part of the tech talk, or if not, um, we, we can try to remember and someone ask, and uh, Prasanna has a timeline there. They worked in the background on it, yeah, and um, yeah, I think it's just a matter of time when it's activated yeah. again. Exactly. Good, Good guys. That's it for Thanks. the English questions here, what I see. Cool. Then we are at the end, uh, pretty late on your side, <laughs> two o'clock, right? Absolutely. And um, time to go to bed and I will enjoy uh, my evening here. Thanks a lot yeah. for joining. Happy Valentine's and, Day uh, and take it easy. And see you soon. then uh, we're going to see what's going to happen in the next couple of days and weeks. Guys, have a nice evening. Thank you and bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.